Hi everyone, it's Jackie back as promised with my Disney family night dinner here at the Caribbean Beach Resort. So I meandered over to the Centertown Market and picked up a lovely uh, box and bag of all of my goodies and trekked on back to my room. And um, just a little note, you'll wanna have two free hands because you've got one big shopping bag and a box. So you're gonna need need some extra hands for this. So um, I this, this intrigued me when it was announced. And I thought it would be real fun since I'm staying here to kind of show you guys and tell you a little bit about it. So it comes with roasted Jamaican style chicken and fried yucca, which I don't see that in here. So I'm not sure on that one. Um, cilantro rice, seasonal vegetables, and Caribbean pull-apart rolls with onion jam and guava butter. Now, these are the ones that they have at Sebastian's Bistro. They're really popular um, among fans. Everyone loves them. So really fun that they toss those in here. And then um, finally for dessert, they come with decorate your own Mickey and Minnie cookies, which is just the coolest thing ever. So, and um, they give you a Mickey and a Minnie cookie that are already decorated. So it's kind of a fun, um, you know, kind of a fun little thing here. So I'm gonna dig in and then I'll be back to tell you about it, okay? Made my plate with everything that was served to me. So here is the bucket of chicken. And as you can see, it has all the skin still on and the seasoning is on the skin. I will let you know that if you are not into anything spicy, the chicken is a little bit spicy, the skin part, if you happen to get any of that. So um, I had a piece on the edge of the chicken where it was just um, a little bit spicy. I And I'm really wimpy about spices, so I don't like anything spicy. So, but it wasn't like blow your head off spicy. So just wanna let you guys know that. And here's the grilled veggies. Now these veggies, I don't see any yucca in here, you guys. So, um, but there's red peppers, red onions, and baby carrots. And then there's broccolini, which I absolutely love. So, and then you can see the cilantro rice peeking down there. And there is a lot of rice in here. So you can see how deep this to-go container is. And uh, I would say it's about halfway full of rice with all those veggies laid on the top. So really decent amount of food here. Here are the pull apart rolls and they are so lovely with the guava butter and the onion jam. So I love how they serve both of those with this. Now it comes with four and you will notice that there are only three there because I happen to eat one. So there you have it. Now I wanna note here that the veggies are just real lightly seasoned. Um, I don't salt my food much at all but they did send salt and pepper if you like to, you know, add that to your food. So you definitely can. I thought that the cilantro rice had a really great flavor and they, there wasn't a ton of lime. It wasn't, we make cilantro rice at home, cilantro lime rice at home, and it wasn't quite as powerful as that, but it was really good. So I, I enjoyed that. And I especially loved all the veggies. And one of the things that I don't like when I get veggies at a restaurant is I don't like it when they overcook everything. And these veggies had a nice crunch. So that was really cool. And the broccolini had a nice crunch, the carrots, same thing. Of course, the, the red onions and red peppers, those are, you know, kind of squishy because that's what happens when you cook those. But um, yeah, it was, those were really good. And I will also say that by the time I finally got back to my room, my food wasn't piping hot, but it was still warm. So, and the reason for that is because um, we talk about that liquid sunshine around here. And of course, when I came out of the Centertown Market to head back to my van, a monsoon had ensued while I was indoors. So um, yeah, so I waited around for a little while and, um, and then headed back to my, to my van, even though it was still pouring. So um, yeah, it was, it was uh, 
that was kind of my fault. And the rooms here at Caribbean Beach don't have a microwave. So not that I would have really microwaved any of this anyway, because like I said, it was warm. So um, really, really a nice experience. So now I'm gonna dig into all of this frosting and cookies and see if I can get my, my art skills out here. We'll see how I do, I don't know. I'm not making any promises that they're gonna be quite as cute as the two that came decorated already, but I'll show you those here in a minute. Okay, so it's dessert time and we have got some fun here. So I thought that we would sit and do this together since when I started to open up these packages, I thought this was way too cool to just take pictures of. I wanna show you guys what comes with this fun kit. So there are actually six cookies, they're sugar cookies and you'll notice that two of them are already decorated like Mickey and Minnie, which, how cute is that? And then there are four plain sugar cookies. So if you are a party of four and you buy this, each of the four of you will have your own blank slate Mickey Mouse cookie to decorate. So, and it comes on a nice little platter, which is really fun. Um, and then this guy has all of this icing. So we've got red, white, and black with little stickers at the bottom because they are not expecting us to have a sharp object to cut the bottom of our little pastry bags here, which is really cool. So, and then we have sprinkles. So this is super, super fun, you guys. It is like, I'm gonna flip this upside down so that I can show these to you. So there's black, red, and white sprinkles. These are Mickey-shaped sprinkles, okay? Seriously. And then these are red, yellow, and blue sprinkles, also Mickey-shaped. Whoa, and I just dumped them right out because that lid wasn't on properly. So there you go bloopers behind the scenes right here in this video. It's all good. So, and then, now these ones I've seen before, these are the pink, purple, and green ones. And these we've seen on cookies that we've bought at Disney. So, at least I have. So, I don't know if any of you guys have, but I sure have. But this is, how fun is this? So, everybody has their own choices of what kinds of things they wanna put on their cookies. So I am gonna clean up my mess here real quick, and then I will be right back to show you how fun this is. All right, so when you get into your icing, you'll notice that it's just a Mickey sticker, and that's really cool. So pretty fun. They just flip the little tip over so that everything's clean and sanitary, and then they close it up, seal it up with a Mickey sticker, pretty cool. I chose the white one because Black icing, not so sure, not so sure what I think about black icing, um, especially if you've got kids. Black icing, um, whenever I have seen it, makes your lips and your teeth and your tongue and the whole shebang colored <laughs> black, dark, very dark. And um, I'm not so sure about that one. So we're gonna try white tonight. So, and, like I had imagined, they already have this open. Now, you guys have to bear with me because I have watched many cookie decorating videos thanks to Instagram. However, I am not, whoops, necessarily as you can see, the cookie decorator extraordinaire. So, um, yeah, so we'll just go with that and then maybe we'll put some stripes in here. <clears throat> Pastry chef, I am not, but that's okay because Mickey doesn't require us to be a pastry chef to do this. And you guys, there is a lot of icing here so, you know, if your kids are anything like my kids, 
they will not do stripes on their cookie. They will fill their entire cookie with icing. <laughs> so you might go through all three bags of this, but this is really a generous amount of, of everything to, to do this with. I mean, what a fun activity. So like, you know, you guys can just sit around and do this and, and I, I don't know, I have never met a kid that doesn't love to decorate cookies or cupcakes. I, I've never met a kid who doesn't love that. So I think that what we're gonna use, um, I think we're gonna do the blue, red, and yellow sprinkles since we've seen the green, purple, and pink ones before. So. Here we go. We're just gonna, we're just gonna sprinkle some of these puppies right on here. And all of the sprinkles are Mickey shaped, which makes me really happy. <laughs> I love Mickey stripe, Mickey shaped anything. So this reminds me of my first time at Walt Disney World when I um, watched fireworks and then we walked underneath Cinderella Castle and there was all of this Mickey shaped confetti and I was scooping it up off of the pavement to take home because I just thought that it was the coolest thing. So anyway, these are fun. These are fun. I like how all of the all of them are Mickey shaped and not just a few Mickey shaped ones. So here is my cookie. Lovely, <laughs> lovely little decorated sugar cookie. And we'll see how it tastes. I'll be back to tell you about that in a little bit after I get some coffee. Did I tell you earlier how much I love having a coffee maker in my room? I'm glad that they have a coffee maker in this room. It's not a Keurig, so the Dunkin' K-Cups that I brought don't work in it, but the coffee was good. It was it was fine, and it went really well with that sugar cookie. And it, it reminds me of Christmas time and how much my family loves to sit around and decorate sugar cookies. And these are really nice. They're really thick sugar cookies. So really a lot of fun to do that. Um, and you can even, with the colors of icing that they've given you, you can even choose to decorate just the way they did. So, which is also really fun. I wasn't brave enough to do that tonight. So um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna open this box. So. You guys may have noticed earlier in the photo that I took of everything all laid out that there was this little fancy gift box. So let's get into here and see what we've got. I don't think it's going to be the fried yucca that we were missing. <laughs> I'm just being silly. Now, yeah, so it opens up and oh wow. So there is a game. How fun. So this is a game. And Minnie says, welcome to my game night. And oh my goodness, this is really, really cool. You guys are gonna love this. So <clears throat> welcome to my game night. And she's got all of these instructions laid out here. And how cool is that? So you additionally, once you have played all of the games and earned all of the badges, you can look for the number on each game card to write down a code that you can dial on your resort room phone and there will be a special message for you. How cute is that? I love it. Okay, so on each one of these game cards, there is a button. So that is an actual button. Too cute for words. I'm just gonna go through and show you these buttons because they are way too cute. And to get these special buttons, that's pretty cool. What a fun souvenir, huh? Look at those, really fun. You guys have to excuse my nails. Usually I have fancy nails if I do something like this, but I haven't had my nails done in about 18 months now. Cause you know, <laughs> so there we go. Oh, Mickey knows best. 
very cute. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. And here's Daisy with the most stylish. Very nice. That is just adorable. What a fun game to play. So be on the lookout for uh, my little written review here because I will probably, I will probably write how to play this. And uh, cause there's all kinds of information on, on the backs of these cards and that's a lot of fun. So I bet you're wondering how much this all was. So for all of this that I've shown you tonight with all the food, the desserts and everything I showed you and this super cute game, $79 plus tax. So, um, you know, I don't think that's a, a bad price. When you think about resort hotel pricing for quick service food, um, you know, you usually spend 15 bucks or so a person. So at least, and then you, you know, you have tax on top of that. So, um, and then with a dessert too, and not only just a dessert, but all the sprinkles, all the icing, and then this game on top of it with all of these buttons, I think the value that you're getting is really a good deal for all of this. So I'd love to know what you think about it. I enjoyed it. I wish my whole family was here that they could have enjoyed it with me, but um, that didn't work this time. So we might have to come down and do this again. So there you have it. That's what I, that's what I think about this. I think I'm gonna maybe have to come down and do this again with my family. So we'll see, we'll see. But this was a lot of fun. And I think that if you've got kids that enjoy hanging out at the room and maybe wanna have a pool evening and, and come back to the room and just chill out, I think this is a great way to just be able to have an easy, mellow, chill night in your room and just take it easy and have a good time. So we, I, you know, I, I really like this. We used to really like to bring dinner back to our room. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and take it easy, everybody.